Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video, we will be doing a quick speed test comparison of two devices around the 20,000 price segment. We have the newly launched OnePlus Nord C3 Lite 5G and we also have the IQ Z7 launched a couple of weeks back. Now both of these devices are really good but uh, there are differences. We have an IPS LCD display on the OnePlus while it's an AMOLED display but uh, you have the water drop notch here while this is the punch hole selfie, uh, selfie camera and you get 120Hz refresh rate here while this is 90 hertz but again uh, both of these devices are really good now this comes with the snapdragon 695 while we have the dimensity 920 chip so let's go to the about phone on both the devices about phone and uh, here also let's take the about phone so you can see here uh, the nord c3 light 5g the snapdragon 695 octa-core processor uh, 8 gigabyte ram is the one we have here here also we have the 8 gigabyte ram but uh, you, you also get a 6 gigabyte ram on the iq z7 bringing the price slightly down uh, compared to the oneplus nord c3 light 5g now this is 2.5 gigahertz uh, dimensity 920 octa-core processor uh, again uh, we have uh, uh, both 128 uh, uh, gigabyte by RAM here. Now uh, you can expand the RAM uh, with uh, uh, the virtual RAM feature but we are not going into that. So uh, both of these devices come with uh, Android 13 out of the box. Now we have the Oxygen OS 13.1 while we have the Fun Touch OS 13. So that's the hardware aspect of these two devices. So really powerful devices for this price segment. Uh, so let's just uh, start the testing. So before that let's just turn on the airplane mode on both the devices and uh, we'll just uh, turn on uh, the Wi-Fi as well. So there you go. So now we have set uh, both the devices to the same uh, network conditions and uh, both same uh, network airplane mode is turned on. Now let's clear off the background app so that you can see uh, none of the apps are running in the background. So everything is closed. So let's start the testing. Uh, let's uh, go with Asphalt 9. So let's see which uh, loads Asphalt 9 faster. Now game turbo mode or the game uh, uh, mode uh, is available on both the devices. We have enabled that on both the phones. Uh, so let's see uh, which opens Asphalt uh, 9 faster. So uh, quite expected uh, the um, IQ Z7 loaded Asphalt 9 faster. Next is uh, Call of Duty Mobile. Again uh, both have the game mode enabled. Uh, once again it looks like uh, IQ Z7 has taken the lead here but let's see which uh, opens the game faster so here uh, oneplus has taken the lead and loaded the game faster than slightly faster than the iq z7 now play store almost same time i would say chrome browser uh, here iq is faster facebook oneplus is slightly faster uh, next is uh, twitter so once again iq is faster instagram again iq is faster Spotify again IQ is slightly faster here Amazon a uh, one plus is slightly faster it's still loading uh, we're not really sure why it is not loading yeah got it so it was slightly slower here now Flipkart IQ is faster file manager one plus is faster settings again one plus is faster YouTube uh, again IQ is faster Gmail IQ is faster camera again IQ is faster and finally maps so here also you can see here IQ is faster so more or less IQ was faster uh, for most of the tests although uh, OnePlus did have a couple of uh, apps which uh, it was faster especially the Call of Duty mobile and a few other apps as well but if you look at the processor IQ Z7 with the dimensity 920 is definitely a bit more powerful than the uh, the Snapdragon 695 on the OnePlus Nord C3 Lite 5G next uh, let's uh, see the memory management so let's open uh, the apps in the reverse order so let's see which of these uh, devices are able to retain the apps in the memory. So there you go. So as of now all the apps are available in the memory. Now next uh, let's move on to the games. So here Call of Duty reloaded uh, on the OnePlus Nord C3 Lite 5G while it was available on uh, uh, the on, in the memory on the IQ Z7. So let's just uh, finish uh, for this game to load. 
so next uh, let's go to uh, the final game that's asphalt uh, 9 so asphalt 9 now is reloaded on both the devices so here memory management is slightly better on the iq z7 only one uh, app or one game was reloaded last of it was able to keep but uh, uh, one plus nord c3 light 5g reloaded both the games so that was the memory management of uh, these two devices quite good uh, for the price segment i would say now next let's go to the speed test uh, the, here we'll uh, check the network uh, speed of uh, these two devices and uh, see uh, uh, which uh, performs uh, better here so let's uh, first uh, test uh, one plus nord c3 light so here you can see here more or less uh, similar not much of a difference uh, in terms of upload and download uh, one uh, was slightly faster than the other in download and upload but again uh, uh, these are not major concerns so that was uh, the network uh, speed test now next uh, let's go to the antutu benchmark uh, of these two devices so that's again uh, something which uh, people look forward to so you can see here uh, 4 lakh 7020 uh, 231 on the one plus nord c3 light 5g while here it's uh, more than 5 like 5 lakh 4312 let's go to the individual scores you can see a cpu score is higher gpu is much higher almost 30000 difference again uh, memory score is also better here and uh, the ux score is also better so you can see here uh, the dimensity 920 is definitely more powerful than the uh, snapdragon 695 in terms of uh, performance next let's uh, also check the geekbench test so we'll quickly run the geekbench test here and uh, we'll uh, show you the results as well So now we have the Geekbench results, uh, the single core uh, score is 887 on uh uh, the one plus while this is uh, 1025 1909 multi-core score while it's 2390 so you can clearly see that uh, the iq z7 is more powerful than the one plus nord c3 light 5g so that was uh, the benchmark test and also the speed test of these two devices so in case you really want a full in-depth comparison do let us know in the comment section we'll be doing a camera and uh, all the aspects of these two devices so hope this video was useful do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.